Hi, David Lee here with Gravity Golf. We're continuing with our little series on frequently asked questions and uh, we've got another one here for you. We'll see what, see what this one says. I hit it well on the practice tee, but not on the golf course. Why? On the practice tee, we get lots of chances to feel our timing and get into a groove. On the course, you only get one chance at each different shot. Once you get a correct swing trained into your body, it's easy to hit the ball successfully on the first try. This is an important question because there is a definite difference between the driving range and the golf course, and we'll talk about that a little bit. When people get out on the driving range, they don't feel consequences for missing the target. Now, they may practice with a target, may even practice using a corridor to work the ball in, which you should do. The problem is, is that on the practice tee, you've got a whole basket of balls, swing it, miss hit a shot, roll over another one, go again. On the golf course, we get one chance to hit the golf ball, and in order to make that shot not only be dead solid and go where we want it to go, you have to be unaffected by the targets on the golf course. Two things in this game will pull your swing out of sequence. One of them is the golf ball, which acts like a magnet in the downswing to try to induce you to manipulate the club to make contact with the ball. The other thing is the target itself. Now on the driving range, there are no consequences for missing the target. As I said, we simply roll over another ball and hit it again. On the golf course, the brain starts sensing the consequences of missing the target. It sees all the stuff that Robin Williams talks about in his little uh, dissertation on golf, if you've ever seen that. It's a little blue, but actually it's very funny. You can YouTube it and look at it. But there's stuff out there that will put your golf ball in trouble. When you get on the golf course, not only are you on differing contours, which we don't typically encounter on the practice tee. We've got all sorts of hazards and things around the green. We might have water, we've got bunkers, we've got deep roughs surrounding the flag. They might put the flag in, a, in an isolated position on the green and draw you right to a sucker pin that if you short side yourself, you're going to have all sorts of er, complications. So there are a lot of hazards. And when the brain sees and attaches an importance to getting to that target, it tries to make you swing linear in the downswing and chase the flight line with your, with your arms. As soon as you take that swing out of a rotary release and go linear, a linear move in the delivery will cause a shift in the plane and make you miss hit that golf ball. You have to release a golf ball on the golf course if you want to do it properly. You have to release it just like you were throwing a discus or doing a hammer throw. At no point in a discus throw is that arm going in a straight line. The only time that if you want to control the direction of the distance, the point at which you release it becomes absolutely critical. That's why the geometry of the setup in a golf swing is so important because the only time that the club face is square to the, ended tar uh, to the intended target is at the moment of impact. So we have to learn through experience how to grip the club, how to position the ball relative to your leading axis and more importantly, how to move in proper sequence so that that alignment maintains its integrity as we swing the club. So when you get out on the golf course, you have to learn 
to be unaffected by what your brain or by where your brain is seeing you uh, trying to put that ball and you have to go ahead and make a pure release. Your best odds of hitting that shot where you want it to go is if you maintain sequence and allow your arms to ride the rotation of the body. As soon as you try to take those arms and direct the golf ball to a specific point, energy backflows into your body and it will cause that plane to jump and make you miss hit the golf ball. That is not a David Lee opinion. That is a physics law. If you make an action, there will be a reaction. The reaction to the guiding action comes in the form of a path change and it will make you miscontact the ball when you come through impact. So it's very important if you go study our drills we can show you how to practice on the golf course so that you become unaffected by both the ball and the target, both of which are trying to pull you out of sequence in your golf swing. We know how this works and there are ways to overcome it. You can get your golf swing from the practice tee to the golf course if you know how to do it. Thanks. Have a great day. Go study this stuff. It works. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching today. Go to our new website. Check out our videos and articles. Read about our golf schools. They're the most comprehensive schools done anywhere in this country. Come down and see us. Get involved in one of those. Check out our social media. And great luck with your golf game. Thanks.